previously. Oh, but wait a minute. I'm doing all this, but they don't have another cat. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Renee, and welcome back to Alice Mare. We are nearing the end of the game, so let's get this party started, yeah? Luckily, I still got my little friend with me, so I don't feel so lonely. There's a little bed here. I bet there's another goose in here. There's a novel here. Strange book, isn't it? But lots of people have read it. I wrote it. But the name of it... But the name is my friend's. Yes, I hate it. I know I told you that again and again. The name itself is great. My teacher gave it to me. But I hate myself so much for not living up to the name. What is it? It's blotted out and unreadable. This is where we part. This is my world. The story leads to my present self's world. It's very tiny and still restricted. Wait, are you the teacher? It's open. Why did it come to this? You're smart, so perhaps you know. If you know the answer, tell me, Alan. Was that a kid teacher? Do, 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 do. It's locked. There's a diary. Okay. I bought a house. Well, it was formerly a facility. It's much too big for me. I can see myself getting lost easily. I'm indebted to Cliff once again. I should really thank him later. Today I met a girl. A few days ago she was found near a house that burned down. It seems to be the daughter. She insists there's someone other than her. She seems to have another personality, so I gave her double the furniture and stuff. I wasn't sure what to do, but at any rate I found a research subject this way. She's now in my care. No symptoms at the moment. I met a second girl. I received a letter three days ago that had all the particulars. Perhaps because of what she's been through, she's much less cheery. She's reluctant to talk with me. She enjoyed talking with the other girl, albeit not for very long. It may be slow, but I'll try to get her talking with me. No symptoms at the moment. The third, I met a boy. I was surprised, but given his mother, I decided to take him in. He talks plenty, but he's illogical. He was a little awkward with the two girls, but they're playing together a few days later. Today he kept putting frogs in my head. He's a bit too mischievous. No symptoms at the moment. I met a fourth, a girl. She walked from a town in the woods. I talked with her and she told me about a new mysterious illness. Evidently it wiped out her town. Did she have a resistance to it? I'm a little interested, but it's unrelated. She doesn't want to talk about it much. It's hard to talk with her. She doesn't talk with others, just playing the piano in her room. No symptoms at the moment. All the children have the potential to break out, but still no symptoms. Are, but are there even symptoms? How did it go back then? I'm getting a headache. I'll stop for now. A few pages are ripped out. I met a fifth child. He was outside when the incident happened. They say the shock caused memory loss. I had a glance. I was surprised. It's just a hunch, but he must be on the verge. I'll watch him very carefully. Two seasons have passed since then. What have I been doing? I feel like my chest is burning and I see the scene in my mind again. This must mean yes. Very soon. It will be over soon. My head hurts. I'm sorry, Fiona. There's a scrap of paper in the book. Obtained a notebook scrap. What? When I came to, it was my unusual world. She's still sleeping today. I asked lots of people, but I was never exed. Why is that? Should I have been exed more? There are no bad people left. There's only good people around me. Cat says only bad people get exed. Which is right. <laughs> I don't know a thing. So I keep trying to ex people so I can be exed. Hello, teacher. Alan, if you're here, then no, the cat can't be trusted. You really are proficient at breaking promises. It's quite troubling. <coughs> hey, that key. It looks sharp. Give it to teacher, would you? Right away. Now. Good boy. Did he just kill himself? <laughs> Doesn't even hurt. Now it can end. This awful dream. Yes, it's the end. Will you hear my story? He just killed himself. This is my first time in the world. I've been here before. Nightmare Syndrome. As an avid reader, I'm sure you've heard of it at least once. It's a disease that keeps one from waking and takes their soul. 
The cause is said to be unknown, but I believe it emerges to children whose hearts are in darkness. Why do I keep dying? Oh. Have you noticed? I took and hurt children with nowhere to go, helped them, and let them live with me. But secretly, I observed and studied the children who might acquire the sickness. It must have upset you. I'm sorry. I want to destroy this world and these dreams, whatever it takes. I lost someone important to me right before my eyes in this world. Ever since then, I've thought of nothing else. It was my selfishness. So when you arrived, I was very surprised. Maybe because you reminded me of myself from back then. But if I made you un unhappy, I thought you'd acquire it. But I couldn't do that. Soon my door opened. I should have come along. The rest of you were taken as well, and the entrance grew bigger as a result. I tried various things, but nothing worked. Alan, though you opened the door, you did nothing wrong. It's all my fault. There, 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 there. It's okay. This is my dream, my world. I hid too much of my weakness before I knew it. I was drowning in more than I could manage. So I have to end it, for her as well. I'm not very smart. She often told me so. I researched a lot, but I guess it was off or not. Take this. Pin the locket. I couldn't give you what you wanted most, because I never was, was never given it. I don't even know what it's like. I'm sorry. If you have nothing, then you should make something. You have wonderful friends all around you. Take it slow. You're smart, Alan. You'll be fine. <laughs> right. I'm an adult, allegedly, so they won't eat me. I'll figure something out. There's a number for a man named Cliff on my desk. Say my name and he'll come help you. He's one and only friend. He's very kind. You'll be fine. Oh, shit. Please forget about me. No one will have to come here again. What the hell? Good night, Alan. Contain a notebook scrap. Why wasn't I axed? I thought I could ax then, but I simply wasn't able to, because I didn't know how to ax. What will I do now? I've lost everything. I have nothing. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Love me. Please, someone love me. Hello? Okay, what save file am I under? Save 5 is the last one I did. I'm gonna load from there. I'm also gonna save on this. So I can have the next one. Before I call, I'm gonna go in this room. Damn it. Teacher. No response. Look at his face. Teacher. Good night, teacher. Oh, that was the end. That ending. Okay, well, there is one ending.
Okay, now let's oh end good night. Oh, yep. Data load. Let's load from here. Do, 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 do. Okay. We've already seen all of this. I don't know why I didn't save afterwards. Okay, get this notebook scrap. And this will be a separate save folder. Okay. Alan, let's see. That key, look sharp, give that to teacher, would you, right away? Now. No. Very well, this might hurt a little. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Why, why did the same thing happen? I have shards of stuff. How do I... What, cat? Okay, so if that happens, regardless of what I do. Can I go uh, talk to the butterfly or go somewhere else? Or do I just have to go to the teacher? So I think I got all the shards of love. Pretty sure, anyways. The butterfly's gone. What the fuck? The wardrobe is gone too. I already know I can't go in here. Oh my god, cat. Are you gonna sit at the door and whine? Really? You can wait. Maybe I can go in the other room over here now? Alright, let's go get the teacher. There's gotta be something I can do. I didn't get all of these for nothing. Boy from earlier and a girl who resembles him in the snow. I'm in beverage but not in rink. I'm in hurt but not in pain. I'm in seven but not in seen. I'm in drizzle but not in Hard, but not hard on the bill. Why is it hard? Yes, hello? It's not often you're the one calling me. Is that Alan I hear? Ah, I see. Get your things packed. I'd appreciate it if you could do this too. It might just be a little bit. In the meantime, please. Right, it's okay. Just give me a little time. Bye. So, 
Ha. Wait, can I? No. None of you will talk to me still. Just in case. I have to miss something, right? Am I supposed to just wait? That's the same ending I just got! I called the guy! Ugh, I'm so confused. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. So, to be able to get the actual ending, I, I would have to replay it because I have to choose not sure for every single Cheshire Cat dialogue option and then do some other stuff. So, this is my ending. I'm probably going to go back and play through so I can get all the achievements on my time. But, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Whatever I Decide to Make. Internet signing out. Bye.